What's up guys, so we had a great question come in concerning agility training and it's basically, um, this player is a bit confused about what the most important elements are to increase your agility on the pitch and they'd heard things like uh, lower body strength training is the most important thing to do or should you be using ladders and hurdles and things like that. Um, so I just want to help clear this up and I've, I've given a few examples here of the different things that go into your agility. So, so if there's a little bit of reflection on the screen, hopefully you can see that. So we've got strength, mobility, reactions, explosiveness, awareness, and mechanics. So agility is, is so much more than just being fast through a set of ladders or having good technique over hurdles. Um, let's just touch on strength to start with. So the stronger you are, the more force you're able to exert into the ground. So let's say, for example, we're just going through... Um, a pole slalom, so dodging in and out, and it's a race against um, one of your teammates, for example. So that would be something that's planned, it's not reactive agility, but it's still agility in terms of being fast at changing direction, and you can already see the course you're going to take. So strength is really important in that, um, because the more force you can exert into the ground, then you can obviously, there'll be an equal and opposite uh, force pushing you, pushing you back out into your into, and propelling you into the direction you want to go into. So if you can exert less strength in the split second that you need to in your ground contact time, if you're exerting less strength at a slower speed, um, then you're not going to be propelled as quickly into, into the direction you want to go to go into um, compared to a player who possesses higher levels of strength. So strength is important in terms of, in terms of agility because it allows you to be more explosive. Um, mobility is also really important because um, if you are, if your joints, for example, um, have too much mobility or too little, that is going to affect the efficiency that force is transferred again into the ground and also your movement mechanics. So if you're feeling too tight or if you're sort of um, too flexible in some of your joints, which could lead to um, certain injuries, then that's going to affect your agility as well. So the sort of a, a, good, a, a good level of, of mobility is also important. Again, if you're too tight, that's gonna affect your agility because you're, not, you're gonna struggle to get your body in the positions to be fast in going in different directions. Um, reactions or...